What's going on, Facebook? What's going on, Internet Land? Jeff Koga here. I am officially back, and I am officially in the office. So I want to talk about something. All right, I want to talk about uh, something called act like an extrovert, think like an introvert. Okay. Now, I, I decided to uh, make this video the first video of 2018 and talk about this concept because number one thing is for the folks that know me personally, they'll know that I am an introvert by heart. Um, they'll know that I get a lot of my energy from being, you know, myself being in the office. Guess what I'm doing? I'm working. A lot of it has to do with a lot of reading. A lot of it has to do with strategizing and getting to work. A lot of times when, like, regardless if you're an extrovert, right, or you're an introvert, right, sometimes these labels that we give each other can be a blessing and a curse too, right? So I'll use this example, okay? Like as an introvert, right? A lot of times people would say, you know, paralysis to analysis, right? Where we think, 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 and don't do nothing, right? So if that's the case, then you have to figure that out and just go, you know? And then people that know that, that's the reason why I take a long time off because when I go, I just go, right? I don't stop. Why? Because I know that I can't think, right? Because that's naturally what I do. So just go and go and go and do and do and do, right? Versus if you're on the other side of the spectrum, right? Like a lot of my friends, some of the, the people I work with, right? They're more on the extroverted side of the spectrum, right? And, and when we say introvert, extrovert, it doesn't really mean like, hey, you know, when you go out and you shake people and stuff like that. People go through those phases. It's about how you regain energy and how you feel energized, right? Like I'm a type of dude that I'll go to the movie theaters by myself to go watch the movie to get re-energized. And if you're extroverted, uh, you know, like some of my friends, they like to be more around more people, around, you know, a lot of people who get energy and stuff like that, right? I simply, like, I, I struggle, especially during, like, the holiday season because I have to go to, like, family plans. I mean, I'm, like, family gatherings, right? Corporate meetings, right? I have to go go see some clients, fly out to places, that kind of stuff. And I, I get really, like, it sucks the soul out of me, right? And the only reason why I do that kind of stuff, right, is number one is I know that it's not natural to me, so I do it to train myself, right? And, and people who know, who have heard me speak on stage, because I used to speak on the circuit a lot, right? Like in front of like, you know, a couple hundred investors, you know, we used to do like bus tours, right? People who know me, know, they know that I do webinars, people know that, you know, I used to, you know, speak at the boards and stuff like that, know that is I did a lot of those stuff because I knew that I needed to work on that for business, right? I have never ever met a single successful entrepreneur who did not have the ability to communicate clearly, right? Matter of fact, I have never met anyone in quote unquote have a great family who didn't communicate well especially with their wife their husband or whatever it is right so again communication is a huge part of it so i put myself in a position to making sure that i learn how to communicate with people right and as now um as i know that i'm going to be having a daughter you know coming up okay in april you might be watching this later on but i'm going to be a father that i know that i have to level up my skills and ability as a communicator not only a communicator but a leader right and as my business has been growing and i've kind of parted ways from the past and and growing my business even more right and going into 2018 the two huge things this year I'm focused on is communication and leadership, right? And it boils down, especially on the leadership aspect, right? Is to, is to making sure that, that, you know, uh, a friend of mine said this, which was really interesting, which was, are you the person that your daughter's going to be proud of to tell your friends, right? You said that. And I'm just like, I hope so, right? And I want to be able to say it with confidence and say 100%. Right. And, um, and it all boils down to all of these stuffs and habits that, you know, quirky things that got me to the place that I'm at. But also at the same time, you know, it's the old saying of your biggest strength can be your biggest weakness. Right. So my ability to be able to strategically think beyond, I think, what most individuals do, but also at the same time, putting my place in a position to just work, 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 work. Right. Has got me to a place. But to get to another level. Right. I need to elevate that, right? So I'm going to be definitely be working on that. And so for the folks that are out there, right, if, if you are more on the introverted site, right, put yourself in a position, right? Maybe do some videos. I have a friend of mine and uh, she does video blogs, okay, vlogs for the sheer fact of because she says it's therapy for her. 
I never quite understood that, right? Until I started doing it myself and more of that. And I'm just like, it is kind of therapeutic, I guess, you know, right? And then I also have uh, other friends of mine are a lot more extroverted, right? Like my brother is a lot more extroverted than I am. And I tell him, I said, go meet a handshake a lot more people, right? And, um, and things like that. So again, it's it's just one of those things you got to figure out your strength and it's and I don't think anyone has the answer if it, if someone has with a 100% certainty in this says I got the answer for you, right? Probably they got something that some type of incentive for you to sway you in that direction, I think, you know? I think a true friend and a true individual, a true leader, regardless if it's going to hurt them, uh is they're going to be brutally honest and say, hey, you know what, this is it, and have those tough, tough conversations that other people are not willing to have, and because of that, people will follow, I think, you know, and uh, uh, part about leadership is you have to be able to follow the things that you say, right? Like, how many times have we met people that are very preachy, but they don't actually do the things that they do, and they're a walking hypocrite, right? And I definitely do not want to do that, and I'm consciously aware of that. Some of the things, uh, you know, I catch myself saying, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, what am I saying? I am an idiot, and I need to stop that stuff. I am a hypocrite, and uh, I need to fix that. I'm out of integrity, and so those are some of the things that I'm focused on, and I know it's a little bit different video than most of the time for folks that know me where I talk about more of tactical stuff and strategic stuff right but I figure that you know being the first you know second of uh, 2018 to let you all know that hey that's what I'm gonna be focusing on and hopefully if you hear me and watch any of my videos or if you heard me talk about stuff and um, if I am ever out of integrity you know if you're my friend, you're going to call me out and uh, hopefully you'll be okay if I call you out too. So uh, that's what I got. Love you guys. This is Jeff Koga. This year I'm going to deliver massive value and hopefully you guys can go ahead and uh, get some value out and hopefully apply it in life, apply it in business. And um, if you have never talked to me um, outside of just watching the stuff, reach out to me. I'd love to uh, hear you guys and that's what I got. Love you guys. Jeff Koga. I'm signing out. Take care and bye-bye.